Let's talk first about what is happening in your state, in Ohio. Republican leaders pushed for a near total abortion ban. It's been blocked by a judge. And now voters are going to have a chance to ensure abortion access in the state. What is that going to look like? Absolutely. Right now, abortion is still legal, but it's only because we have a protection from a judge. We know this is temporary, and we know Ohio Republicans want a total abortion ban. It's time for Ohioans to be able to make this decision directly, and that's why we're working to have this amendment on the ballot in 2023. I we talked about that, the case in Texas surrounding Mifepristone, and I was talking to my producers, and like, well, just remember Lawrence from Ohio. I'm like, that's exactly the point, which is there is a judge in Texas, who is going to make a decision that while, you know, it's incredibly important how it impacts people in Texas, this is going to have implications nationwide. So I wonder what you are doing in Ohio as you watch for that conservative judge in Texas to make that ruling and what it means that a judge in a different state can make a ruling that has such a profound impact on reproductive care across this country, including in Ohio. Absolutely. We are talking to all of our supporters and working with all of our partners to not only protect abortion access in Ohio, where we are serving patients from Texas right now and patients nice. from across the South and the Midwest. Every decision on reproductive health rights and justice that is being made right now is affecting everyone. And we have to do everything in our power, including protect abortion access on the ballot in 2023 in Ohio. And we have to push back against these conservative judges that should not have the power to change access for everyone nationwide. I, I wish we had a graphic of the United States so we could think about the fact that there are people in Texas who are currently seeking care in Ohio and what that means about the level of desperation that they are facing. I need to tell you it helps treat women who have suffered a miscarriage. And I want you to take a listen to what Vice President Harris said yesterday about the lawsuit over that medication. Here it is. This is not just an attack on women's fundamental freedoms. Um, it is an attack on the very foundation of our public health system. Those who would attack this process and the ability of the FDA to make these decisions ought to look in their own medicine cabinets <laughs> to figure out where they're prepared to say that those medications that they need to alleviate suffering and to prolong the quality of life should no longer be available to them. I mean, Lauren, here's the thing. Advocates like yourself for years have said abortion is health care. To me, in some ways, this lived experience that people are now going through is proving that very point better than any messaging or any rhetoric ever could. Absolutely. Abortion is a personal medical decision. And ultimately, Ohioans, like Americans in across the country in 2022, will decide that it is their fundamental right to decide and not lawmakers. Lawmakers should not have this decision. It is personal, it is medical, and it is a human right. Well, let me stay there because you have a new national poll finding that 64% of Americans believe abortion should be legal in all or most cases. The poll also finds a majority of Americans in 43 states and Washington, D.C. say abortion should be legal. Uh, I mean, you look at those numbers, eventually there has to be, we saw it in this midterms, but you also are going to see a forward, uh, a, a blowback to that from voters against Republicans. Certainly. When voters are able to make the decision for themselves about abortion access and reproductive freedom, they decide to protect their bodily autonomy and they will protect abortion access in Ohio.